Hi guys, it's Ella from Herbadella and I'm back again. Uh, my last video was just on how to do a side twist leading into a ponytail. And the video I'm going to, and the hairstyle I'm going to be showing you now is how to do a Dutch braid. Um, now I, I've only learnt this for about like three weeks so sorry if it hasn't gone that well. And also it's quite hard to show you with the mannequin because it will move around and also it's sort of hard to show you on the camera because I can't really like, I don't have anyone to film me at the moment. So yeah, but I'm going to be trying my best. Um, I'm going to be posting one more hair tutorial after this video and then I'll be back on Monday with another video. So let's get started. Okay, so for this hairstyle, what you need is a, oh, where's it gone? Is a, sorry, that was so blind. You need a, well, you don't have to have a comb, but you need a comb, so a comb, a hairbrush, or you could just use a comb anyways, a spray, uh, some spray bottle, you, in the spray bottle, you can, you can remove your hairspray or water, a hair tie, and some bobby pins if necessary. Okay, so let's get on with it. So first, you want to start off by with your brush. You just want to be brushing all the hair back. Or if you don't have a brush or you don't have a brush with you at the moment, then you can easily just use a comb or anything that would just get your hair not tangly and out of the way. I mean, if your hair doesn't get tangly that easy, tangled that easy, then just finger comb your hair, and you can use the finger comb bit throughout the whole hairstyle. So, so you just want to be brushing all your hair, and you want to brush it all back. So just like how I'm showing you now. And it's a bit like the half up, half down hairstyle. So what you're going to be doing now is you're going to be going out about to ear, about to the top of your ear, like that, and you want to sort of be bringing it back like this. So everything I'm doing on this side, I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. So the sides you can't see, I'm just doing the exact same thing on it. And you want to take it, and it's sort of, it looks like you're about to do the half up, half down hairstyle. And if you would like, you can tie up that bit, just so it sort of doesn't get a bit annoying. And it doesn't really, like, go that un neat. Uh, you want to just get your comb, and you want to just brush it all back to make sure you have no, like, bumps or lumps or anything in it. And also, you want to make sure it's nice and... Um, smooth like no tangles so once it's pretty neat you can go ahead and spray it with the your hairspray or your water just to make sure it stays in place and then you just want to comb that back just so it stays directly there Oh, and I'm performing on my mannequin. And like I said, if you think if it's your first time, then I would recommend just to tying it back um, like that, just so it's it sort of works a bit. So you want to get, but I'm not going to be doing that. So you want to get it, your half up, half down, um, little section, and you want to split that into three sections. So sorry, I've got like this big knot. And this is when the hair might start to come a bit loose, but what you've brushed back, that's why it's best to use hairspray so it holds in place. Now, with my doll, I don't really need to use hairspray because I don't want to wave my hairspray. So you want to just do a normal braid, so like that. And if you would like me to, um, you can like look on how to do a braid. Um... So you just want to braid that bit, and then so you want to take the strand, which so you want to take strand, and you want to bring it over like you're about to do another braid. But what you do is before you bring it over completely, you just go take a little bit of hair. So you can take small sections or big section. I'm taking a bit medium section, and you want to take it like from the front. You want to bring it over and add it in to that piece of hair and then you want to do the same step from the other side so act like you're going to bring it across take a hair from the front and then you want to bring it round and add that piece of hair in 
the piece of hair what you're about to take over and then you just want to keep completing that step so go round add in a piece of hair and then join that in and then go round add in a piece of hair then yep keep going and this bit looks really loose right now because I haven't been pulling it tight so yeah this side is a lot neater but as I said I haven't I haven't learned this for a long time so then go around add it in and that's why you need bobby pins so then keep going until all the hair has been taken off And the reason why it gets a bit saggy and loose is because you if, if that will happen if you don't really tighten it. So yeah, and as you can see, I don't have very much hair left that like uh, um, left the hair. So you just want to take what's left and then to add it in. And then once you have no hair left to bring in, you're just gonna simply do a normal braid. It's not very neat, but. That's when I'm going to need to attack it with bobby pins. Just going to do a normal braid now, just finish it off. And then you're going to tie it off. This isn't a very neat one because um, it's hard to do it on the mannequin because it just keeps moving around everywhere. So, And now you've got it, what you want to do is all the loose bits, if you have any. Well, you, first, you just want to spray it. And you sort of want to like brush it in like that and then you want to take some bobby pins and the bits that are loose you just want to bobby pin it in place to make it not so loose but so it looks a bit neater Just want to bobby pin the other side, and now it looks a lot better. And I need one more bobby pin just to make, just get this little bit out the way, just so that bit doesn't look like the odd bit out, and that it doesn't look so hideous in the hair. And yeah, there you go. So there's the braid. Um, that's the Dutch braid. As you can see, it isn't exactly that neat, but. It's the best I can do with filming on the camera what I'm using uh, without anyone filming for me. So yeah, so that is the Dutch braid. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, so I will see you soon coming up with my next video. Yeah, bye.